Hello everyone, my name is Clay Barrett and I'm here with Nick, Karen, and Jason and our project is the Class D audio amplifier. Widely considered to be the most efficient audio amplifier due to the use of pulse width modulation, our gallium nitride base design will be split into four stages. First, the power stage to power the board. Secondly, the input stage to accept a one volt RMS input signal. Thirdly, a triangle wave generator in order to create pulse width modulation. And finally, an output stage to amplify and filter the signal. Our design will amplify the one volt RMS signal to 28.3 volts RMS with an input impedance of 10 kilo ohms. It will also have a frequency response of 20 ohms to 20 kilo ohms and a total harmonic distortion plus noise of less than 0.5%. With maximum efficiency in mind, our amplifier will serve as a home stereo speaker. The design for the amplifier is split into four stages, as Clay said. Each of the four stages can be seen highlighted in designated colors. First, the power stage in red, second, the input stage in blue, third, the modulation stage in yellow, and fourth, the output stage in purple. The modulation stage is what characterizes the class D amplifier, converting the sine wave input to a pulse width modulation signal using a triangle wave generator and a comparator. The triangle wave operates at 336 kilohertz and samples the amplified audio wave to create pulse width modulation. This is then passed to the output stage, which amplifies the signal using GAN transistors and is then passed into an LC filter to limit the frequency output to 20 kil kilohertz. This should result in an amplified 28.3 volt RMS output signal. This printed circuit board, which is shown in figure two, was manufactured with the help of advanced circuits. Our design implements various packaging types, including 8-pin dip, quad fat no lead, and through hole devices. This design required the use of several soldering techniques and the use of different equipment found in the lab. Some of these techniques include point soldering, reflow soldering, and drag soldering. After finishing each stage, experimentation will be done to ensure that each stage is properly activating. The group was able to center and establish a clear triangle wave from the generator, which is necessary for the triangle internet intercept scheme amplifier we had designed. After the triangle wave stage was properly generated, we moved on to the gate driver, which was responsible for creating the PWM signal required to drive the gallium nitride base MOSFET. To conclude the presentation, we still have a proof of concept down in which a signal can be amplified, turned into a pulse with modulation signal, and then amplified through gallium nitride MOSFETs. Things needed to improve this design would be an overall work through the power supply so that the board doesn't need to be powered up by an external power bench and have a faster comparator for a better pulse with modulation signal. Overall, this has been a great learning experience and we're very thankful for the help that has been provided by our mentor, Joel Butler. Thank you.